by the 17th of July, the Tuesday, I felt good, you know. Same so feeling that my, my, my neighbors were so good to like to support the family with the funeral because they all came and everybody knew my old man went to, came to the funeral. And we were there about two o'clock. Next thing I know, two gunmen. Imagine the most terrifying time of your life, huh? Imagine that. Man. Next thing I know, we were there sitting up in a conversation and just talking about life. And when I look up, I realize all I see is two gunmen. I know one of them, but they were approaching, and the person at the front had a gun. So I got up and ran. I ran. I was in a group of four people having a conversation beside my house. I got up and ran. They ran too. As I started running, I make about five steps. I found my, my, my left foot at the calf burning. I heard a shot, so I knew it must have been shot. Then I felt my right wrist where the shot has grazed. One grazed the right wrist and the other one went through my foot. And, and, and I felt weak and I jumped. And from I got the shot, I couldn't move my toes or my ankle. I, I got shot and when I got the shot, I remember I remember before my father died, I asked him about a neighbor who they called Duffy. I'm like, Dad, I didn't call you the Duffy by myself. You know, so Duffy didn't print up and I move and then police shoot them up. Duffy, the only one survived, can pretend to say I'm dead. So when I got the shot and found in my mind that thought quick and says, two people approaching me and that fell and dropped. I pretended I was dead. I even stopped my own breaths just to give them the convenience, just to convince them that I was dead. And while I was there lying down, all I could do was pray. I was praying to God, said, Lord, please don't let these guys come over me. I mean, and give me a headshot or shoot at my body. Please, I prayed. I never prayed so hard in my life. I was there lying down. The next thing I knew, I heard my neighbors coming and talking. Whoa, 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 now me a shot, whoa, whoa. So I put my hand up and tell them, so I mean, me get shot and stand up and take time one stop. Um, go towards them and I got weak and I was jumping and Etta came, grabbed me up, nearly took his marina off and tied my knee because he said when he saw me, the blood was just pushing through my foot because I didn't know that my the major vein in my left foot was damaged so badly. He and the other neighbors came as well and I told them to put me in the car because the, one of the guys who was driving the car who came to visit, he subsequently ran into our neighbor's house going for shock and fear of his life and we had to wait half an hour for him. Meanwhile, my partner came in the car and was there with me and tried to, you know, tried to just make sure I was comfortable. He came on the spot, took us to Spanish Children Hospital and they did an x-ray, then we did an emergency surgery. 